I'm a computational biologist, um, actually with a kind of a, a diverse background. Um, I started working, um, going to grad school in chemistry. I uh, got a job afterward in computer science and then moved into um, agriculture um, in, in computational biology, looking at DNA sequence of uh, plants and microbes. So I came here a couple of years ago um, to Saskatchewan and have enjoyed that very much. I'm originally from uh, Minnesota. Um, so the weather and, and uh, the people um, uh, are very familiar to me. The best advice I've ever been given are words that were never spoken. Um, I spent summers on my grandparents' farm and on my uncle's farm and I grew up in the city and didn't have the skills I needed to be helpful on the farm. Um, neither my uncle nor my grandfather were inclined to teach me. Uh, they would give me short demonstrations or just tell me, go figure it out. Um, through that process, um, I didn't want to disappoint them. I didn't want to disappoint myself. So I learned how to teach myself what I needed to know. And, th and that's been a very liberating um, experience um, over time because I know that I can tackle challenges as they come and I don't have to wait for someone to guide me. I would pass on the same advice I was given by my uncle and grandfather that we live in an uncertain world. Times are changing, circumstances are complicated, problems are tough, um, and we all need to learn how to learn for ourselves to become guides uh, for others in this uh, uncertain time. And, and uh, we are all in a place where we now have the opportunity to learn those life lessons uh, for ourselves and really empower ourselves to become uh, leaders in this uh, ever-changing world where change is forced upon us. It isn't necessarily come by our choice. A number of years ago, I participated in a workshop sponsored by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security that focused on the role of agriculture and climate change. Uh, one of the outcomes of that workshop was a white paper describing the role of agriculture as the only human activity on the planet with a big enough footprint to make a difference in carbon sequestration. Um, agriculture is um, also facing many challenges due to um, the use of fertilizers, pesticides, um, uh, climate change uh, driven uh, alter, alter, alterations in um, uh, weather, water availability, uh, temperatures. Many plants are uh, very sensitive to, to temperature changes, especially around the time that they're flowering. So there's a lot of changes that need to happen in the agricultural systems. And um, we, we need to be able to breed better plants, uh, exploit natural diversity in order to address those challenges, to have crops that are safe, nutritious, and can be grown in sustainable ways. 